10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, good evening, all. It is, we have made it to the weekend. It is Friday. Actually, it is Saturday. It's after midnight. It's the 21st day of October, 2017. Halloween is coming up. We need to come up with a special spooky Halloween podcast for everybody. For all you kiddos out there, I want you to be safe and make sure you go in pairs and groups. And stay close. Don't go to, don't let anybody talk into anything or don't watch out for people that are silly out there sometimes. But anyway, this is Brian Hammond live from San Antonio, Texas. I hope you all enjoyed your your week, and I hope you're going to have an awesome weekend. We are back again. I'm sorry for the delay here. Been some just family business to take care of, but we're back. I wanted to take a moment. I didn't do this before, and maybe we should just take some time to get to know me. You know, the host, the... The blabbermouth, as you'd call it, I suppose. I have some few, I have some shows coming up that I'd like to do. I have some ones I'd like you to listen to that were previously recorded. Either way, I'm still alive. It is still awesome to be back here at speaker.com. If you want to tune me in at www.speaker.com slash user at 996-3968. You can catch me live here. We also now are syndicated on... Uh, Amazon, the Alexa device. We're still on Facebook, iTunes, and on um, <clears throat> and on Speaker. But you can also catch me on iHeartRadio too if you miss it any other way, or you can download and listen to it later. Either way, I hope y'all are gonna have a good weekend or enjoy your weekend. Whatever you got planned, have fun, be safe. Anyway, my name is Brian Hammond. I come from California. Born in California, I'm a beach bum, as people would say, I guess. I don't know what they'd call it. Um, don't miss California. It's three times higher to live there than it is anywhere else. Shoot, as I understand it. Uh, I did visit there a while back, but although I didn't go nowhere, but, you know, I did visit the town. Uh, it's changed a lot. But I'm sure everybody's gone back to their hometown or home state at one time or another. I'm almost sure of that. Uh, I hope my friend uh, and somebody I adore very much, Diane McKimson, is listening out there on High Ridge. Barbados. I hope you're listening out there, Barbados, because if you are, shout out to you. Say hello to everybody tonight. I want to give a big shout out to Las Vegas and the people there. They are still strong. They're still Vegas. They will bounce back. Just remember, Vegas, you're, t- you're, you're strong. I know it's hard. It's hard to lose, you know, people in your community. It's hard for the family to lose loved ones. My thoughts and prayers go out to all of you. And, of course, I'm always in support of everybody bouncing back and being blessed. So I hope that is happening for you and your state out there in Clark County or wherever you may be staying or living if you're there by the Las Vegas Strip. Either way, I hope things are going better for you. I hope things continue to get better. Uh, I wish there was more I could have done for you, but right at this point, I could not. But my heart feels for you. My prayers are with you all, and may God bless you and your going in and coming out and your hand, and everything your hands go to touch, my friends. Really, I do I do believe that. Uh, as far as anything else is concerned, I'm sure you heard the news. It's ugly out there. You know how Trump is. He's got a get his two cents in at any cost, but that's, again, another story. <laughs> We're not going to go into politics tonight. It's kind of a real bummer on my part, I think, but, again, what do I know? But, anyway, um, I've done several casts here, done some that you like, some that you wouldn't listen to, even if you had earplugs in, and that's fine. We don't always agree, but that's cool. This is still, hopefully, something that I can get going. And I hope for some more input. I hope to get people involved. Give me some ideas. Talk. You know, whatever. Uh, you, of course, are welcome to call in anytime. If you want. I have no problem with that. Um, 
So, but you can call me at 210-708-8701. I do think that my other number is now active that I did get, but can't remember the number, unfortunately. But that's my problem, not yours. <laughs> I need to call myself more. Maybe I'll to ever forget your own phone number. Or is it just me? Sometimes I think it's just me, but I don't know. Anyway, back to me. I was born in California, raised in California pretty much. I have been several different places. I have traveled. I have done a lot of things. Uh, I used to travel, uh, traveling circuit, uh, traveling, uh, uh, carnival. Uh, I lived in Vegas for a while, worked at Circus Circus Hotel and Casino. I did that for a while too. Uh, got into home health care, been doing that off and on. More, more on than off, but I don't do that as much anymore. Of course, I still do it on occasions. I have more than 10 years experience in doing it, if you want to know. I've taken care of elderly, disabled. I've taken care of kids. Um, I've done a lot of things. You know, doing home health care sounds easy, and it is for the most part, but at times it can be very emotionally taxing. Just like any job or family or anything that you're doing out there. I mean, there's a certain amount of stress, a certain amount of emotional uh, strain, and it gets to people. I get it. I do. You know, you got a lot of things on your plate, a lot of things going on, and you have to take care of it. I get it. And I don't blame you. I have to take care of it, too. There's a better number for you to call it. Anyway, if you want to call in, you're welcome to. You can call it. 210-850-3764 and you can be live right here at speaker.com with me, Brian <clears throat> if you have a show idea you want to talk about something you want to get something off your chest uh, mainly Adam's sweater from this year from this season's uh, The Voice but that's another story it looks like he stole it from some old man really but I don't know that for sure we're going to listen to some uh Recent episodes from Uproxx and their funny podcasts. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'm not going to get any more details about me because it's a long drug out. And some of it's kind of depressing and hard to hear. and It just dredges up old memories for me and I don't want to do that. That's not why I'm here. Um, for future shows, I know I've done a lot. We're going to do a couple of these. Um, I'm hoping to get more people involved in this and build this up as much as I can uh, I'd love to talk with you guys I hope you call in and give your opinion preferably if you didn't yell and scream that'd be nice too but again <laughs> if you must you can uh, you're welcome to contact me either by phone by email or just sit back and listen to me on air or download it or put it on demand you want to get a hold of me you can do it at BD bdhammond45 at gmail.com anytime you want you can call me of course if you, if you want anytime too pretty much at 2108503746 and uh, after that who knows come on people let's get involved it's Friday night let's have some fun let's have some fun out there and more bad news from the club we'll be right back after this short brief break Ah, uh, we're back, right here live in San Antonio, Texas. Um, in the future, I'm going to try and get some uh, very classic TV commercials that I found online and play those and see what we can come up with. I'm sure you've heard, I'm sure you've read online that there's a lot of different podcasts, a lot of different ways you can do a podcast, how long they should be, how short they should be, what you should say, what you shouldn't say, how you should act, how you shouldn't act, whatever. Uh, well, that's all well and fine. That's merely a suggestion, I believe, but 
If there's any idea how long a podcast should be, some say 30 minutes, some say an hour, some say 15 minutes. It depends where you're doing it and how long, what kind of audience you have. But anyway, we're going to get into this. This is from Up Rocks. This is the prequel to episode 174. It's for 15 minutes and 16 seconds. It hasn't, you know, it's recently been done, but we'll do it anyway. Actually, we should listen to the prequel of episode 173, so we'll do that. It's 36 minutes, 34 seconds. Uh, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. What's up, everybody? It's Paul Shu, your condom guy. That's right. When you think of condoms, think of me. Well, let me tell you, your sex life is about to get a little bit more intimate when you slip on some skin condoms. That's right. Skin condoms, they are made out of a revolutionary polyisoprene material called Skin Feel. They don't smell like latex. They don't feel like latex. They're super soft and comfortable. I've said it before and I've said it again. If they made a dog out of skin feel, you would want to cuddle with that dog. Oh, I call him Condi. Oh, come here, Condi. Let me tell you. These condoms are so soft, so comfortable. They allow for better heat transfer, you know, from your rock-hard package. So both you and your partner get a real natural feel, full of sensitivity, and a more connected experience. Because you know what? Condoms shouldn't be a barrier. They should be a connective tissue that also protects you. Anyway, here's the deal. They're safe for anyone with a latex allergy, and they are just as safe as latex condoms, and they offer the same level of protection against pregnancies and STIs. Let me tell you, people, when you want to put on a condom, put on a skin for your condom, because it's hot skin on your skin. Oh, yeah, condom for sex. Badmasters, rap song correlations, and a mountain made of mashed potatoes. All this and more on today's How Did This Get Made mini episode. Hit the thing! Oh, yeah. Time to get sex. Oh, my Maybe God. McDonald's Foreplay online at speakerstudio.com. Go to the bathroom to jump out the window so you can abandon your family. But oh, snap. There's no windows in this McDonald's bathroom. I guess I'll just put on a nice podcast to pass the time and escape. Jason's at home, her pants is drinking beers. June Diane's also home, popping bras and drinking beers. When Paul's alone with a microphone, it's time for a mini episode. Sax time. It's me, Paul Shear, and welcome to the How Did This Get Made mini episode recording from Atlanta. That's right. If the sound quality sucks, I apologize, but I'm in my Airbnb kitchen with a towel over my head to give you all the info that you need for next week's podcast and all the things you might have missed from last week's episode, which of course was Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon. Um, why do I have a towel over my head? Well, I was told that that helps. I don't know, does it? Who cares? I'm in Atlanta with a towel over my head. If anyone walks by my window here in Cabbage Town, they're going to see some weird shit. Um, here's the deal, people. You call me with questions, I give you answers. It's time for the Explanation Hope Line. <laughs> Oh, I had no clue of where to go or what to do. 